what's cracking everybody new video first of all um i apologize that these last well couple of the last videos i haven't even had a damn shirt on and it's not to be disrespectful but one i'm in my house <laughs> two it is hot as hell everywhere right now i'm sitting under the damn ceiling fan and um it's still hot so there's that explanation but let's get to the news did you guys see it mikey from the salinas report called out tony from stories written by a current prisoner you know <clears throat> i'm sure there's really no animosity between the two of them but <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it real uh mikey used a, a term that that kind of caught me off i was like oh he said he, I, if i remember right if i'm wrong correct me and i apologize but i think he used the term punk <laughs> in the call out <laughs> And Mikey is always so laid back, you know what I mean? And uh, I never hear him really talk like that. So something must have occurred to where he was like, you know what? I'm tired of the bullshit. I don't know anything about um, Tony. So, you know, this is no diss to him. You know, I know he has a huge channel. Um, I know he was supposed to fight Gunner. Um, as we know, Gunner caught COVID. And I don't know if Gunner came out with it again, but... Uh, or announced it, and if he did, and if I'm out of line, I apologize, but uh, Gunner caught COVID again. He's fighting it right now. So, you know, they, they couldn't do their fight. Uh, I know Tony um, made a few videos uh, when they were leading into their fight, but I also saw where, you know, it came out on YouTube that um, there was a certain type of feeling that Tony wanted the publicity for his channel that there was going to be a fight, but had never intended to uh, fight because he was missing um, certain meetings that they were supposed to have, something like that. Again, I don't know. This is just what I was told and what I saw and what I heard. Now, I think that may have something to do with some of the feelings that Mikey has. Um, my understanding, Mikey was uh, Mikey was a fighter. Um, obviously he was an amateur fighter, but did he go pro? I don't know. Um, but I know he's got a, a lot of fights under his belt, righteous boxing fights. Um, and I think it would be, uh, a pretty big deal if Tony did take that challenge. Um, for those of you that are going to be in the comments and say, a dubs why don't you get in the ring because i don't do that you know i'm a content creator i'm part of the media <laughs> but uh you know i just feel like um that's that's just not my thing you know when i was younger i i you know like like most rasa we i did have boxing gloves uh I did get into boxing. I, I was in karate, you know, I was in a few things um, and it was fun. But, you know, as you get older, um, you know, when you're young, you can horseplay, you can go chess or whatever with somebody and laugh it off. And then you get older and you bump in a wall and it feels like you got jumped. <laughs> and now I'm 48 years old. I'm, I'm, I'm about to be 49 in a few months. So um, I'm at that age where like right now, as we speak, my back is killing me. So you think I'm going to get in a boxing ring? It'll probably take me two months to recuperate. I save it to, I'm, I, I'm not a violent person. If I have to defend myself at any time, I'm willing to do that. Of course, everyone is. Self-preservation is number one. But um, I'm not signing up for no fights. Uh, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> real quick. I did see... Um, on Cam, was it Cam Capone? I don't know if you guys watch that channel. I do. Um, and he had Spider Loak on there. And Spider Loak, um, he mentioned that there's been, behind the scenes, there's been some talk lately about starting a league, right? Where rappers that have beef, instead of having the beef spill in the streets, 
They could just put the boxing gloves on and make a bag off of it. And, um, but spider Loke said that him, <clears throat> the era, the era that he came up under, that wouldn't be a good thing because he's, he wouldn't, <clears throat> he may not be able to accept <clears throat> getting into a beef with somebody, then getting his ass whooped <clears throat> for everybody to see. Then he might go back to what he knows, which is not having boxing gloves on. But it was just a trip because I was thinking, damn, whoever could behind be behind that, probably Floyd Mayweather would jump on something like that. I think it could be extremely lucrative. <clears throat> and it would be minority owned, right? which is a good thing. We need to all start owning our own stuff, um, controlling our own stuff, keeping our money amongst us, you know? Um, that's how we advance. <clears throat> um, okay, my bad. Got stuff popping up on my screen from uh, IG. But anyways, um, I, I hope this... I hope to see another one of these fights. I hope um, Mikey and, and Tony are able to make that happen. I think it would be a great thing. Uh, and it could be lucrative and it could be a stepping stone to something else. Um, I know that Mikey has connections. I know a few people have connections to uh, the boxing world. And um, it would be a different thing, right? And imagine where we have people, uh, the, the celebrity fights, uh, rappers, and, you know, whatever it may be. It's just a whole new lane. And, and, you know, we have YouTube. We have all this stuff where we don't have to rely on Hollywood no more. We have the ability to do things our way, when we want, how we want it, and uh, profit from it. So <clears throat> I'll go ahead and hold up before I close. Let me look at the mic. Let me look at the mic. Let me look at the camera. Anybody out there in the Humboldt County area, if you need any flooring done, check out JV Flooring in Humboldt County, jvflooring.com. It's a subscriber of mine. He looked out, and, and this is one thing, and hopefully I'm not saying the name wrong. Oh, matter of fact, let me look at it right here. Let me look. I got it written down. I remember last night I said I was going to do this. Give me one second. I want to make sure I, I give this guy his props. JV Floors. JV Floors is what I have written down. So that's what it is. Look up JV Floors. And something I want you to know, um, if I remember right, his his wife is a teacher. Um, she works with at-risk youth. And um, the owner of JV Floors, her husband, employs some of those at-risk youth in his company, trying to show them uh, the value of hard work. Um, and, you know, when you give somebody a job, man, it, it, it allows them to grow self-respect for themselves. When you get somebody to respect themselves, they're going to respect you. So anybody in that out there in that area, if you need any flooring done or you just want to uh, donate to the cause and help them out in any way you can. If you're a contractor, whatever, give them a call. Just think about what they're doing. They're helping at-risk youth. They're giving people responsibility, making them productive members of society. I wanted to make sure I put that out there. Um, those of you that are still here, do me a favor and actually in the comment section, just comment JV Flores. I appreciate you. Be safe this weekend. Be smart and tell the ones you love that you love them, all right? I'm out.